Coronavirus continues to dominate the headlines. Everywhere you look, people are talking about it. But out of 308 million Americans, only 163 have tested positive at this point, with 11 deaths so far. Now, right now, this cruise ship, the Grand Princess, is being held off the coast of California, so health officials can test the passengers. This follows news that a man died from the virus after returning from an earlier trip on that same boat. Now, a Florida congressman uh, wore a gas mask during a House floor vote to fund the public health emergency, saying members of Congress are human peach, excuse me, are human petri dishes. If anyone is going to get coronavirus, it's totally going to be Congress. Meantime, United Airlines and JetBlue are cutting U.S. flights because of the disease, and the industry overall could lose $113 billion in revenue just this year alone, according to a new estimate. Now, officials are stressing one way to keep from getting the illness. Don't touch your face, which honestly you sh shouldn't be doing anyway. <laughs> uh, but then take a look at what happened shortly after one public health official gave this great piece of advice. Today, start working on not touching your face because one main way viruses spread is when you touch your own mouth, nose, or eyes. <laughs> well, we've been turning to our own a friend of the show, Dr. Drew, for advice on the coronavirus, and we do have him today live on the phone. Dr. Drew, how are you? I'm great. I like the way you framed that story. 350 million people, 160 cases. I, as I've been saying for the last month, what we should be talking about is flu generally. There's 16,000 dead, 280,000 hospitalized in this country from influenza. The message should be get your flu shot. If you aggregate corona and flu for this year, it's about an average flu season. And everything everyone's doing with their Purell and their washing hands and not touching your face and being careful, we should do that every flu season. We should not be in a panic. You mentioned how the airlines are potentially losing billions, millions of dollars. A pan that's not because of the virus. That's because of the panic around the virus. And I still blame the press for the panic. Not you guys, because you framed it very nicely. Well, we appreciate you uh, vouching for us, Dr. Drew. We are taking, uh, we're taking your lead because you've gotten a lot of attention for what you said on our show and that the media is overhyping this outbreak, as you just mentioned. But the news and, and is Erica, continuing. I got, to, I, I, I got to tell you, I got to tell you, the length to which reporters and the media is going to try to fuel the flames is astonishing to me. In a local news outlet in Los Angeles, they had uh, footage aired every 10 minutes leading up to 11 o'clock news. Paramedics dispatched to a cruise ship. Paramedics dispatched to a cruise ship. Then lead story, footage for three minutes of a paramedics going to a cruise ship. At the end of that three minutes, they went under their breath. Uh, there was a fight on board the ship. A couple of people were injured. That's where the, why the paramedics were summoned. Nothing to do with the virus, and yet they went to that length. Yesterday, in a CDC uh, press conference, the poor porters. What are the what are the what are the people who don't have can't afford it going to do with the inflated price of Purell? What are they going to do? CDC specialists stood up and said, "Wash their hands. It's better." Well, doc this is how far they're going to try to fan the flames. It's ridiculous. Well, Dr. Drew, as always, we appreciate your input on Daily Blast Live, um, and obviously, what we're talking about is very important because people need to be taking proactive uh, measures when it comes yes, to their personal san uh, sanitation. Anyway, and as uh, Obama yes. just tweeted out as well, um, just trust the science. So we really appreciate you coming on with us That's today, right. Dr. Drew. That's Thanks, right. Dr. And, and Thanks, Dr. Drew. The real. Hey, guys, the reality is it should be a hats off to all the CDC-style organizations throughout the, the world, the WHO. They, they, they have made this a – they've contained this thing beautifully. It should be hats off, well done, let the professionals continue to do their jobs, the rest of us go about our business. Well, we appreciate you. Dr. Drew is a friend of the show and just telling us not to panic, so just make sure you're trusting you the, silence, or the science and also washing your hands. Pretty yes. fundamental, right, Thank guys? You guys. Thanks, Thanks. Dr. Drew.